okay students let's have a look towards the next question the question is match the list first to the list second it is a question of need 2021 the list first is flareses amoebiasis pneumonia ringworm whereas the list second is hemophilus influenza triclophyston wucheria bancrofti and amoeba histolytica in short it is what it is the disease and this is what this is the pathogen so the question is of need 2021 the question is from the human health and disease let's have a look toward the question whenever we are talking about what whenever we are talking about fluoresis as you know what the fluoresis is caused by what it is caused by an organism named as Wucheria bancrofti do you know this is also this causes also one more disease that is named as elephantiasis clear so the second one is what the second one is amoebiasis so whenever we are talking about the amoebiasis so it is caused by what it is caused by the enter amoeba histolytica which will affect what it will affect the intestine correct when we are talking about the pneumonia do you know the pneumonia is the dual type of disease means it is caused by the bacteria as well as what as well as virus the bacteria is named as what the bacteria is named as the streptococcus pneumonia right streptococcus pneumonia whereas the virus is named as what hemophilus influenza right hemophilus influenza so let's have a match fluoresis and amoeba histolytica amoebiasis it is uh, sorry wait amoebiasis is what wait a second there is small mistake hold a second Okay, so fluoresis is caused by Wucheria bancrofti, amoebiasis is caused by Entamoeba histolytica, and the next one is from the different pan. The pneumonia is from Haemophilus influenza, and the ring from is MET, and the T stands for triclophyston. So the correct answer is what? A to the power third. A to the third is only in the single one, so the rest all are incorrect. The correct statement is the first and the answer goes to what? Answer goes to the first. Clear? Copy down. Okay, students, let's have a look toward the next question. The question says what? Following are the statement about prostomium of earthworm. Clear? The question is asking about the prostomium of earthworm. It is a question of need 2021. Great. When we are talking about the question of what? It is question from the earthworm. The earthworm, do you know, it is considered as a lower animals. This question is from which chapter? This question is from the animal tissue. And as you all know, the earthworm belongs from where? It belongs from a phylum named as what? It is belonging from a phylum named as Annelida. The Annelida having the rings structure which is found in the earthworm. When we are talking about the earthworm, it's having a prostomium. That prostomium is what? That prostomium is the covering. Clear? This prostomium, it is what? It is the covering of mouth. Clear? This prostomium is the covering of mouth. So the step first, it serves as a covering for mouth. It is the correct statement, students. The second, it helps to open the cracks in the soil into which it can crawl. As you all know that the earthworm are also known as the friends of the farmer. The reason behind it always what happened, it just make a side in the soil and move deeper into, into the side. So it help in the crawling also. So second option is also correct that it help to open the cracks in the soil at which it can crawl. The third option, it is one of the sensory structure. Look at here, beta. This earthworm don't have an eye. It cannot able to see because it don't have an eye. Instead of eye, it having the prostomium, which is working as what? It is working as a sensory structure. So, so the statement third is also correct. The fourth, it is the first body segment. It is the incorrect statement. 
wait you will say me no sir it is the correct statement no it is not correct because when we are talking about the first segment that is peristomium right that is peristomium not the prostomium clear not the prostomium so the prostomium is not the first segment peristomium is the first segment so the option d is incorrect so the correct answer choose the correct answer from the option given below so a b c are the correct so the answer goes to for this question is what for this question the answer goes to what the answer goes to the fourth one clear copyright question now student let us come to the next question here the question is match list 1 with list 2 list 1 a adaptive radiation list 2 1 selection of resistant varieties due to excessive use of herbicide and pesticide b convergent evolution 2 bones of fall limb in mane and whale c divergent evolution 3 wings of butterfly and bird d evolution by anthropogenic action 4 darwin finches here the options are option number 1 A three, B two, C one, D four. Option number two, A two, B one, C four, D three. Option number three, A one, B four, C three, D two. And option number four, A four, B three, C two, D one. So, student here, which option is the correct one? Now, student, if we are talking about the adaptive radiation, we know that the best example of the adaptation radiation it will seen, it will seen in the Darwin finches, in which we have to seen the different types of the peaks in the finches so here adaptive radiation it is belongs it belongs to the darwin finch finches which is the best example of this phenomena which is adaptive radiation so here a is matching it is matching with 4 so student i am writing here a is matching with 4 now b convergent evolution we know that student the wings of the butterfly and bird both should represent should represent to the convergent evolution so uh, example of the convergent evolution comes it should comes from the wings of the butterfly and the birds both having the same function for the flying purpose so it will belongs it will belongs to the convergent evolution so i am writing here b is matching it is matching with 3 now c divergent evolution we know that is the bones of the fore limb in man and whale it is the example of the divergent evolution that means c is match it is match with the 2 so student i am writing here c is matching it is matching with 2 and d evolution by anthropogenic action we know that student some some of the uh, insects should develop resistant it should develop resistant against the herbicide it should resist it should show the resistant against the pesticide so this is an example of the anthropogenic action so uh, evolution by anthropogenic action it example comes from the selection of the resistant varieties due to excessive use of the herbicide and pesticide so student here Uh, d is matching it is matching with 1 now let us look out which option is correct in this manner where a is 4 a is 4 in option number uh, a is 4 in option number 4 b is 3 c is 2 and d is 1 so here we find our answer and correct answer for this question it is option 4 over to our next question that is following are the statements with reference to lipids a lipids having only single bonds are called unsaturated fatty acid this is an incorrect statement regarding lipids because unsaturated lipids or unsaturated fatty acids are those which are having at least one double bond so because of this particular word this is an incorrect statement over here b lecithin is a phospholipid yes it is a phospholipid c trihydroxypropane is a glycerol yes it is a glycerol so this is also a correct answer d correct statement not answer d palmitic acid has 20 carbon atoms including carboxyl carbon so actually they are not having 20 carbon they are having 16 carbon so that's why this will be incorrect over here e or arachidonic acid has 16 carbon atoms no they are not they are 20 carbon atoms so this statement is also incorrect now we have to find out the correct statement out of these let's see first option is c and d only it is incorrect 
सेकेंड ऑप्शन बी एंड सी इज करेक्ट ये थर्ड ऑप्शन बी एंड ई नो फोर्थ ऑप्शन ए एंड बी नो सो दी करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज सेकेंड ऑप्शन दैट इज बी एंड सी स्टेटमेंट आर करेक्ट रिगार्डिंग लिपिड्स थैंक यू हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स लुक टूवर्ड द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन इज assertion and reason great this question always remembers the memory of aims exam do you know the aims exams is having the assertion and reason now it is merged with the need let's have a look towards the great question of need 2021 the assertion says what a person goes to the high altitude and experience a altitude sickness with a symptom like the breathing difficulty and beard and palpitation that is named as heartbeat palpitation clear the beat palpitation means the heartbeat is not correct so what happen as we always uh, remembered or always noticed that when we are moving to the hilly areas on the higher altitudes like we are if you have gone to the gone to the amritsar uh, not amritsar sorry amarnath and like hilly areas when you are going above so what happen you are unable to breathe the reason behind what the people say is the oxygen deficiency let me clear you there is not a oxygen deficiency right there is not oxygen deficiency there is what there is the partial pressure difference the partial pressure of the oxygen at the higher altitude is low and due to the low partial pressure what happen our hemoglobin is unable to bind with the oxygen correct so this option is assertion is the correct right the reason due to the low atmospheric pressure this atmospheric pressure is also known as what it is also known as the partial pressure of oxygen at the high altitude the body does not get sufficient oxygen if the partial pressure of oxygen is low so the hemoglobin Globin is unable to bind with the oxygen, so this reason is the correct explanation of assertion. So the both assertion and reason are true, but reason is not; it is incorrect. Assertion is true, reason is for incorrect, incorrect. So the correct answer for your question goes to what? It goes to the fourth one that both assertion and reason are the true, and reason is the correct explanation of a. This question is from the breathing and exchange of gases. Copy down. now student let us come to the next question here the question is match list 1 with list 2 list 1 a allen's rule list 2 1 kangaroo rate b physiological adaptation 2 desert lizard c behavioral adaptation 3 marine fish adapt d biochemical adaptation 4 polar seal now choose the correct answer from the option given below here the options are option number 1 a 4 b 1 c 3 d 2 ऑप्शन नंबर टू ए फोर बी वन सी टू डी थ्री ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री ए फोर बी थ्री सी टू डी वन ऑप्शन नंबर फोर ए फोर बी टू सी थ्री डी वन सो स्टूडेंट हेयर विच ऑप्शन इज द करेक्ट वन सो टू गेट द आंसर लेट अस मैच द लिस्ट वन विथ लेस लिस्ट टू सो डेट वी गेट अवर आंसर नाउ एलेन रूल्स सो वी नो डेट स्टूडेंट एलेन रूल्स शुड एप्लीकेबल इट शुड एप्लीकेबल टू द पोलर सील so here it is a is matching it is matching with 4 so i am writing here student a is matching it is matching with 4 now physiological adaptation we know that student the uh, physiological the phenomena of the physiological adaptation it is seen it is seen in the kangaroo rate kangaroo rate so student here b is matching it is matching with 1 so i am writing here student b is matching it is matching with 1 now behavioral behavioral adaptation we know that student the behavioral adaptation it is seen in the desert lizard so here desert lizard is an example of the behavioral adaptation that means c is matching it is matching with 2 now d biochemical adaptation we know that student uh, some marine fishes should belong it should belongs to the example of the biochemical adaptation so student here Uh, marine fish adapt it should represent the example of the biochemical adaptation that means d is matching it is matching with 3 so here is the correct answer so where a is 4 a is 4 in option 1 2 3 and 4 now move to the other side b is 1 b is 1 is option 1 and 2 c is 2 c is 2 in option number 2 and d is 3 d is 3 in option number 2 so here we find our answer and the correct answer for this question it is option number 2 over to our next question that is 
which one of the following statements about histone is wrong now what you what is histone histone is a octamer protein to which dna wrap okay and form nucleosome structure you have studied about it now let's see the options first option now see one thing they are asking you about the wrong statement regarding histone a first option the ph of histone is slightly acidic this is incorrect statement because the ph of histone is positive uh, basic because histone are positively charged and the overall charge on it is positive because of that they are basic in nature not acidic in nature if it is having negative charge then we can say that it is acidic but they are basic in nature so this statement is incorrect second histones are rich in amino acid lysine and arginine that is true because lysine and arginine they both are positive amino acids third statement histones carry positive charge in the side chain that is correct because they are having positive charge fourth and because of that dna that is negatively charged dna wrap around it fourth histones are organized to form a unit of eight molecule it is correct that is octamer structure you you have seen that uh, h2a h2b h3 and h4 two two units are there Four this side, four on the back side. So four here plus four on the back side, total forming eight molecule. That is octamer structure. It is forming. So the statement regarding histone, which is incorrect, is your first option and is the correct answer for this question. Thank you. Over to our next question. That is statement one. The codon AUG codes for methionine and phenylalanine. AUG is codes for methionine and it is also a start codon but but it is not code for phenylalanine it codes for methionine only so overall the statement will be or is incorrect second statement okay i am writing uh, so statement 1 is incorrect statement 2 triple a and aag both codons code for the amino acid lysine yes it is because these are the two codons which are coding for the lysine amino acid so statement 2 is correct but statement 1 is incorrect let's see in the light of the above statement choose the correct answer from the options given below first option both statement 1 and 2 are false no it is not second statement 1 is correct but statement 2 is false that is also not correct third statement 1 is incorrect but statement 2 is true that is true because you can see in the above information what i gave you fourth both statement 1 and 2 are true no so the correct answer for this question is your second option that is state no third option that is statement 1 is incorrect but statement 2 is true so that's why the correct answer for this question is your third option thank you Friends, let's have a look towards the next question. The question says, match the list one to the list second. Question is of NEET 2021. The list one is scapula, cranium, sternum, vertebral column. Whoa, great! It is question is of what various type of bones and the vertebral columns are there. So list second is about cartilaginous joints, flat bone, fibrous joints, and triangular flat bone. So let's have a look towards this. when you are talking about what when you are talking about the scapula as always you have remember a diagram like this there is a cavity that is named as the glenoid cavity and a triangular structure is there so the option we have option we have it is a triangular flat bone correct the scapula looks like a triangular in shape that's why it is a triangular flat bone so a to the correct option is the fourth one the next option cranium it is asking about the joints when we are talking about cranium it is named as what brain box whenever we are talking about the cranium the cranium is also known as what brain box and in our cranium we have a shutters which is immovable so what when we are talking about the cranium so cranium goes to what it is goes to the fibrous joint the fibrous joint is totally immovable so a to the fourth so a to the fourth in the two option second and third the b option cranium is what cranium is for fibrous joint so cranium is for fibrous joint is the third option the c one sternum 
Do you know what is sternum, students? The sternum is the mid one which connects the rib from the ventral side and from the dorsal side, the ribs are connected to the vertebral column and from the ventral side, it is connected to the, connected to what? It is connected to sternum. It look like, like this. Look at here. It look like something like this. This is the exophoid process and a flat bone, right? It is a flat bone. So sternum is a flat bone. So C to the power second and D vertebral column. It is the behind the dorsal. We have the vertebral column. We can slightly move that vertebral column. So this type of joint is named as what? This type of joint is named as the cartilaginous joint. So correct option is goes to what? The correct option goes to the third one. And your answer is what? Your answer is third. Clear? Copy that question. Okay, students, let's have a look toward the next question. Which of the following secretes the hormone relaxing during the later phase of pregnancy? Question of need 2021. It is asking about the option that is the hormone that is named as relaxin. Do you know what is the role of relaxin hormone? After the parturition, the uterus must be the relaxed. The muscle of the uterus must be the relaxed. So relaxin is secreted at that time. So it can be secreted by what? It cannot be secreted by the corpus luteum because after the uh, release of second oocyte, the remaining part of graphene follicle converted into the corpus luteum. This corpus luteum is responsible for the secretion of progesterone. This progesterone maintains what? It maintains the pregnancy. But at the end of pregnancy, the relaxin hormone is not secreted by corpus luteum. The fetus is also not secreting the corpus luteum. Fetus is responsible for the stimulation to secrete the relaxin from the mother body, but it itself doesn't secrete it. The uterus, the wall of the lining of, clear, the lining of uterus, the lining of uterus is responsible for secretion of for secretion of relaxin hormone clear this is responsible for relaxin so the option third is the correct one not the graphene follicle it is incorrect so your answer goes to what answer goes to third it is a very interesting question from the human reproduction copy down Hey students, let's have a look toward the next question. The question says, identify the types of cell junction that help to stop the leakage of substance. Look at here. Don't read full question. Just divide this question into two parts. It is asking for what? It is asking for the junctions. As we know, there are the different junctions of the cell. This question is from where? This question is from the animal tissue. When you will open your NCRT, you will look at in the second or the third page, there is a junction made up of in the, uh, in the NCRT. So animal tissue having a cell junctions, the question is asking the cell junction that stop from leakage. So we want what? We want that type of junction which stop the leakage. So the leakage is stopped by a junction that is named as the tight junction. This child junction does what? It just prevent from what? It just prevent from the leakage, right? So it can do one a type of, it prevent from the leakage, clear? So the second one is what? Across the tissue and the facilitation of communication with the neighboring cell via rapid transfer of ions and the molecules, clear? Students, this question is asking about the two junction. The first junction is what? Which junction stops from the leakage? So it stops from the leakage is done by the tight junction. Whereas when we are talking about the transport or the transfer from one cell to another. So for this transport, we have a, another junction that is named as the gap junction. So the correct answer for this question goes to what? It goes to the first one, the tight junction and the gap junction respectively. Thank you. Okay, students, let's have a look toward the next question. Which of the following, which of these is not an important component of initiation of parturition in humans? It is a question of need 2021. The question is asking about what? It is asking about the parturition. Do you know what is named as parturition? 
the parturition means the delivery of baby right the delivery of baby is named as what it is named as the parturition so the question is asking which is not an important component when it is not necessary synthesis of prostaglandin this is not compulsory student this is compulsory why it is responsible for the contraction in the uterine muscle so this prostaglandin work as a contractory agent the release of oxytocin oxytocin is essential for the parturition because this oxytocin generates the labor pain and labor pain is the main reason of the parturition release of prolactin the prolactin don't have any role in the parturition the prolactin having a role in a milk secretion so the question is asking that which one is having not important role this don't have important role its role in the milk secretion so this option is the correct one increase in estrogen and progesterone ratio right because whenever there is a time of parturition whenever there is a time of delivery the estrogen level of also increases the reason estrogen and slightly progesterone also increases it is responsible for delivery it also causes a mild contraction due to which the parturition occur so the correct answer for your question goes to what it goes to the third one clear okay students let's have a look toward the question which of the following is not a step in a multiple ovulation embryo transfer technology that is also named as MOET multiple ovulation embryo transfer technology that is named as MOET and it is a question of need 2021 it is saying the first option cow yields about 6 to 8 egg a type yes it is the correct statement in a MOT this thing we are just studying in a chapter strategies in strategies and enhancement in food production and we have a topic in that that is named as animal husbandry in animal husbandry when we are talking about the cattle feeding so in this moat we have six to eight egg at a time the second option cow is fertilized by artificial insemination this statement is also correct the artificial insemination injection is given to a cow by inseminated artificially we can make them uh, fertilized right the third option fertilized egg are transferred to the surrogate mother at 8 to 32 stage this statement is also correct at the stage of 8 to 32 we just transferred that to the surrogate mother and the fourth one cow is administered to the hormone having lh like activity for super ovulation this statement is totally incomplete because it is a option from your ncrt line and your ncrt just open your ncrt and look at there there is a line written the cow is administered hormone having high fsh not lh that is high fsh which is responsible for the any initiation of follicle formulation stimulation of follicle formulation and activity for super ovulation so the correct answer for your question goes to the fourth that the fourth option is incorrect because the option is saying you lh it is totally incorrect the option must have to say fsh for the correction clear thank you friends let's have a look toward the next question during the muscular contraction which of the following events occur okay look at here it is a question of what it is a question of chapter locomotion and movement the chapter is of locomotion and movement it says you what during muscular contraction right it is asking about what it is asking about the muscular contraction which of the following event occur so what happened this is what this is the z line this is what this is the i band right this is what this is i band it is a band right it is a band and this zone is named as what it is named as the h zone that line is named as the z line that portion is named as what this portion is named as the i band and this portion is named as the a band it is about the normal one when we are talking about the contracted so contracted is this one 
there is a reduction in this size so look at here when you are talking about it it is having the z line i band is not there a band is there clear so the option is during the muscle contraction which of the following event occurred the question is of me 2021 the l zone disappears correct one this l zone is disappeared in the second one it is the contracted it is the normal stage when you are talking about here it is what it is a normal stage right it is the normal one and this one is what this one is the contraction one clear so the first option is correct the second one a band widens no there is not a band never widens the reason the a bands remain equal in the size it never changes the c i band reduces in width clear yes i band also got reduced in the width myosin hydrolyzes the atp and releases the adp and inorganic phosphate as we have studied about the sliding filament theory and we know for the formation of cross bridge we need the atp and that atp is broke down into the adp and inorganic phosphate this option is also correct the fourth uh, sorry fifth option z line attached to the actin are pulled inward it is also the correct so the option a option c option d are the correct right a c d e are the correct not b1 not b1 not b1 so the correct answer for your question goes to the fourth one clear copy that question okay students let's have a look towards the next question the question is the adenosine deaminase deficiency result into the question of need 2021 the parkinson disease does the ada affect the parkinson disease no when we are talking about the parkinson disease it is a disorder central nervous system disorder of cns the digestive disorder no it is not a type of any disorder related to the digestive system addison disease it is related to the adrenal disease adrenal disorder so ada is not related to the adrenal disorder yes when we are talking about the ada deficiency it is responsible for what it is a disease of immunodeficiency disease right it is a disease of what it is a disease of immunodeficiency so the first option incorrect second incorrect the third incorrect and the fourth is correct the dysfunction of immunosystem is the correct answer so the answer goes to the fourth one thank you